community members and leaders are working to beautify Baltimore this summer. Today, they're tackling one of Baltimore's most historic landmarks as part of the citywide enhancement initiative. Amy Kawada with the details of what's behind these efforts and how you can help. Breathing new life into Baltimore. Saturday, dozens of community volunteers spent the day pulling weeds, picking up trash, and planting shrubs in West Baltimore's Upton community. Today we're at PS 103, which is Justice Thurgood Marshall's original school when he was in elementary school. It's a historic landmark. They're going to start doing the renovation on this building, so we want to make sure that the rest of the block is as beautiful as this building is going to be. It's all part of a citywide enhancement initiative led by Wind Waste Innovations. The 16-week series is called Growing Green Space, where every Saturday, people of all ages and backgrounds come together to promote beautification efforts throughout the city. We've chosen lots that our communities have, have tried to maintain but are having a hard time. I used to live on, you know, on the same block that Thurgood Marshall lives on. I mean, it means a lot to be able to do this work in your community. Owner of Division Street Landscaping, Alex Smith, says these revamping efforts goes far beyond just the surface level. When you have a beautiful neighborhood, you take more pride in your neighborhood, which brings down crime and all that kind of stuff. Which is why our future generation is also involved in the project. It made me feel good because I get to give back to my community. When they see trash, their minds think trash. When they see clean, their mind think clean. So we here to keep it clean. Organizers say it's truly a win-win situation overall. Not only is it beautifying spaces and creating a little bit of an oasis for people in some underserved communities, but it's also good for the planet. And if you'd like to volunteer, anyone is welcome. The Growing Green Space series will be going on through September 24th. We'll have the next few locations listed on our website, WJZ.com. For now, reporting in West Baltimore, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.